Welcome to the cell phone price analysis video. In this video, we are going to do various data analysis applications in Python. We are going to work with the cell phone data and I'm going to leave the dataset link in the comments. You can download the dataset and run the codes in the video for practicing well. I'm using the call-up ID of Google in the video. I will try my best on showing which code works for what. Now we can start to our analysis. Welcome again. We are going to start by importing pandas. Before starting, I just want to say one My microphone takes my keyboard sound a lot when I am typing code, so I will mute my microphone when I am writing code. Now we can start. We will start with read CSV and we will have the pandas data frame by this operation. Let's firstly see the first five entry by data.head. We can see we have the cell phone data which mixedly sorted. We can understand this by looking product ID. We all have numeric values in our dataset and we have both features like technical, like resolution and non-technical like price. Let's see our row and column count. We will use data.shape for this. We have 161 rows and 14 columns in our dataset. Let's show the row information in different way. Let's think that we only want to take the row number, not the column number from the data shape. Since shape returns a tuple, we can reach its first index. Let's print this information. Now we can see we printed row number in our dataset is 161. Let's take the general information on our dataset by data.info. From here we can see general information like how many non new values each column has or the data types they have inside. Let's get the numerical summaries of our column. We are going to use data.describe for this task. I'm not going to talk about all of them, but let's talk about some. The average price is 2215 and the average weight is 170. Now we are going to take the rows that contains the highest and lowest price value. We are going to use index min max and iLog for this task. Remember that in Python indexes start from 0, not from 1. So if the index that we want to reach is 20, we need to write 21 inside the iLog. Let's start with the one which has the lowest price. We will reach to the price column of our data frame for this by brackets and we will use index minimum after this task. Now let's get this entire row by using iLock. Seems like we got the information that we wanted to take. The lowest price cell phone has the price value of 640. We also saw this value at the data.describe section which we took the descriptive statistics of our data. Now we are going to do the same thing, but this time we will do for the highest price cell phone. 
the only thing we are going to change is we are going to use index maximum instead of index minimum. Seems nice. We have the information we wanted. The highest price cell phone has a value of 4361 in terms of price. Now let's do a different thing. Let's print the product IDs. We are going to reach the specific information that we want to reach by just like we did in shape. Let's assign the product IDs of highest and lowest price cell phone to the variables and then we will use them in a print. We took the first index of both lowest price cell phone and highest price cell phone. Now we are ready to write a print statement like the highest price cell phone's product ID is X. I will use F string this time instead of format. Product ID of lowest price cell phone is 826 and product ID of highest price cell phone is 290. Seems nice. Now what we are going to do is we are going to eliminate some columns and also I want the price column to be at the end. Ok, we are going to draw product ID and sale in the space and we will add the price at the end. Ok, now we are going to print the columns and see if the data changed in the way we want it. Seems nice. Let's do some data cleaning. Let's start by checking if we have any duplicated values in our dataset. We have 7 or 8 duplicates, it's quite high. Let's remove them. Since we are using in place true, we don't need to assign it once again when we drop duplicates. Let's check the duplicated entries once again. Seems nice. Let's check for NA values. We will use is NA for this. Seems nice. Let's see the correlation coefficient values. Correlation coefficient can take values between minus 1 and 1. 1 means perfect positive relationship. Minus 1 means perfect negative relationship, only going to take the values that shows how other columns are correlated with the price column.
seems like all the technical features are positively correlated with price except thickness. Ok, let's keep with the visual stuff. I will firstly import Matplotlib and Seaborn and then we can start creating our visual features. Let's start with heat map which shows correlations in a table type. Ok nice, let's keep with payplot from Seaborn. Ok nice, we have the payplot now. And now we are going to do something which is a little bit more complex than others. I will firstly create a list which I will put 11 colors inside and I will assign a variable as 0 which is going to change our colors. Let's firstly do this both and after that we will talk about the for loop. Now we are going to say for index in data columns except price generate as a scatter plot. Y is going to be equal to the price column, X is going to be equal to the index and our color of the scatter plot is going to be equal to the colors for X lists cover changer index. After that line we will insert a plt.show and for the last step of our loop we will insert a constant increase for color changer which will going to help us on generating different colored scatter plots. Seems nice, we got exactly what we wanted. Thanks a lot for watching the video. That was all for our analysis. In the future videos, I will publish a MySQL course and I am recording videos about data science. If you are interested, you can subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.